कैट ट्वेंटी टू स्लॉट वन क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन अंकिता बाइस फोर के जी कैशोज फोर्टीन के जी पीनट्स एंड सिक्स के जी ऑलमंड्स वेन द कॉस्ट ऑफ सेवन के जी कैशोज इज द सेम एज थर्टी के जी पीनट्स और सिक्स के जी ऑलमंड्स शी मिक्सिस ऑल थ्री नट्स एंड मार्क्स अ प्राइस फॉर द मिक्सर इन ऑर्डर टू मेक अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ सेवनटीन फिफ्टी टू रुपी शी सेल्स फोर के जी ऑफ द मिक्सर एट दिस मार्क प्राइस एंड द रिमेनिंग एट अ डिस्काउंट ऑफ ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑन द मार्क प्राइस thus making a total profit of 744 then the amount in rupees that is spent in buying almonds is the question is not difficult per se but it definitely requires you to process a lot of information provided here so let us say the price or the cost of cashews is x per kg peanuts y per kg and almonds are z per kg so what is the total cost 4x plus 14y plus 6z. Now this is the first thing that you should do. Next, you are also told that cost of 7 kg of cashews is the same as cost of 30 kg of peanuts is the same as 9 kg of almonds. Now what this will do is this will easily give you the ratio of x, y, and z. So this ratio will be six thirty as to sorry, I made a mistake there. Two seventy as to sixty three as to two hundred and ten, and if you simplify that, you're going to get. 90 as to 21 as to 60. So, which means that x can be written as 90 times some constant p, 21 times p, and 70 times p. So, the total cost becomes 4 into 90 times p plus 14 into 21 times p plus 70 sorry 6 into 70 times p this is equal to 360 p plus 294 p plus 420 p so which means the total cost must be 780 980 107 400 times p this is your total cost now essentially it has been very clearly mentioned that you are selling at a mark price which gives you a profit of 1752 so mark price of the entire lot must be 1074p plus 1752 in rupees now this means mark price of one item can be 1074 times p plus 1752 and divided by total kgs now total kgs are 4 plus 14 18 plus 6 24 this divided by 24 so what do you get you will get 179 p by 4 plus 24 sevens are 168 and you get 72 24 3 sir this is the marked price of 1 kg of any of these items you know that will give you a profit of 1752 rupees now 4 kg were sold at this price and the remaining 20 kgs because there are 24 kgs were sold at a discount of 20% on this so total revenue is 179p upon 4 plus 73 multiplied by 4 plus 
the remaining 20 kg were sold at 20 multiplied by 179 times P upon 4 plus 73 multiplied by 80 percent. Now this is your total revenue. So if you calculate this, you're going to get, uh, you can just multiply 4 inside. So 179P plus 280-292 plus you can again multiply 4 inside. So you have 5 multiplied by 179P. Okay, it's not actually 4 multiplied by. You have 20 into 80 percent gives you 16. 20 into 80 percent gives you 16. So I can keep 1, 4 outside and then I have 179P plus 292. What does this mean? It means that you have 5 into 179p plus 292 as the revenue. And this minus the cost gives you a profit of 744. So I can simply say revenue minus total cost as profit. So 850-895p plus uh, one four six zero minus one zero seven four p is equal to seven forty four and now you have one seven one four six zero minus seven forty four sixteen and seven so seven hundred and sixteen must be equal to one zero seven four one zero seven nine or one seventy nine times p so if you solve this for p, you will get the value of p as 4. If p is 4, what is the cost of 1 kg of almond? 70 times p. Cost of 1 kg almonds is 70 times p. 280. So cost of 6 kg almonds must be 6 into 280, which is 1680. So as you can see, the question is not complicated, but processing of this information and slightly heavy on calculations, not heavy exactly, but processing of information was the key to solving this question in quick time.